I read the Bible all the way through from Genesis 1 to Revelation 22. That's the whole Bible. And this is not actually the first time I've read the whole Bible. I've been Christian for six years and this is the fourth time I've actually read the Bible all the way through. In this video, I'm going to be talking about what's different about reading the Bible in a month versus reading it in a year and some tips and suggestions if you want to as well and if I even encourage you to or if I, if I don't and if I would do it again. So stick around to the end of the video to find out. If you are looking to read the Bible in 30 days or in any amount of time, I want to give you some tips and just some things to factor in because if you don't know these things, then that could greatly affect how much reading you'll get done and you could potentially put unneeded stress on yourself that you don't need to put there. And when you put stress on yourself to do something, you're gonna most likely be unmotivated to do that. And my goal is not to unmotivate you to read the word of God, but to motivate you to read the word of God. And so you may or may not read it in 30 days, 60 days, whatever it may be. But the point is, is do whatever is best for you. And so first factor is to know how fast do you read? And that may sound silly, but it is super important because if you can read normal speed, slower, faster, that's gonna greatly impact how much you can read a day. And so for me personally, when you break up the 30 days, there's 1,189 chapters in the Bible. And so that's about 40 chapters a day. And that might be a lot, that might be a little. And if you are a slow reader, that might not be good or that might that you know that might be a struggle for you to read that many a day for me personally i would read anywhere from 20 to 30 to 108 a day it depends on how fast you read and another factor is how much time you have that is basically one of the most important things because if you're trying to read 40 chapters a day and let's say you're an average reader you know you read at a normal pace and you're trying to read 40 chapters a day or more, then, you know, and you only have, let's say an hour a day, it might be very difficult to try to fit in 40 chapters into one hour. Now, like I said, this goes back to the first factor of how fast do you read and how much time do you have? Be very efficient with your time. And, you know, one thing is, is even if you're not getting all 40 chapters into one day, if you do want to up your take in reading anyways, just be efficient with your time, you know, on your lunch break. If you're in school during during lunch or during breaks when you're done with your assignment, whatever you can do, do what is best for you. Don't stress about doing too many or trying to hit a standard because like I said, you want to love reading the word of God. You don't want it to become a burden on you. That That's the last thing that you want. The third thing that I think is really important to know to factor in to just understand is not every chapter, just like any book, is not the same length. But the difference is in the Bible, it varies a lot more. So you can get a chapter that has 10, 15 verses or about sentences, or you can get one that has like in the book of Psalms, the Psalms especially uh, will vary greatly because you'll have 10 verses and then in the longest one, it'll have over a hundred. And so you need to be aware, you know, you can set the time of, hey, I'm going to read this many. But if you don't take into account how long or a mental note of how long the chapters are, you're going to stump yourself and then you're going to be stressed out trying to read too many instead of, you know, being smart with how many there are. And, and I want to say this is that's actually a good thing to also be mentally aware of how much because with those longer chapters you may read less but that's good because you can take into account those shorter chapters and read more on other days and so like i said the average is about 40 chapters a day and so if you want to if you have if you're able to you know read at a good pace and you have the time and you want to do this definitely i would say give yourself read more of those shorter chapters when you're reading it all the way through read as much as you can you know read as much as that your heart desires so you have more leniency going on when you get to those longer chapters and so you're not stressed out thinking you know i did 40 chapters yesterday but why is the 40 chapters harder today it might be because 
you you need that leniency because the chapters are so much longer or so much shorter even though that wasn't a whole bunch of tips i do think that's those simple two three four tips that i did give is very effective and very necessary just to know where you want to start and if you are trying to read the bible in 30 days now would i do this again maybe i don't know we'll see what god has um i'm definitely going to continue to read it all the way through the time frame i'm not entirely sure every time um would i recommend it i feel like if you have the time and you have a good reading pace i think you should try it and because one thing that i have learned about reading the bible in this short amount of time is it was so much easier for me to connect the stories. And like I said, this is the fourth time I've actually read the Bible all the way through. But reading it in 30 days helped me to connect the stories even more so than I could if I stretched it out in a year. You know, the family tree or just connecting stories because the Bible is so amazing and complex. It connects from Genesis to Revelation. It was written over a span of 1500 years on three different continents by 40 different authors in three different languages. Now that is an amazing book. And to be able to read it in that amount of time just really helped me connect it. And I just wanna encourage you, if you do not have the time, you generally don't have the time to read 40 chapters a day, split it up to 20 or whatever is gonna be best for you. Let's say 20. And so you can read it in a, in a couple months. It doesn't have to be a year, but it can be a year. Do whatever is best for you with your reading speed, with the time that you have. It is just most important that you get the reading done in the first place at all. So you want to read the word of God. Now, I would recommend it to anybody who has the time and who has the motivation to. And so I just, I encourage you to, if you want to, I, I do recommend it, but do not stress yourself out if you do not have the time. Do not stress yourself out about it. You might have to make little sacrifices, but that doesn't mean, you know, make absurd sacrifices to where, um, you know, you're just stressed out and you, your, your desire for the word of God just goes away. And so just pray about it. Honestly, ask God if he would want you to read it in 30 days, 60 days, six months, whatever it may be, just go to God in prayer. And that's the last thing that I'll leave you with is just before before you pray before you read it all no matter how much it is just to pray pray to God and ask for wisdom and understanding because you want to be able to understand you know what you're reading you know to the best of your ability to the best of um yeah to your ability so I hope this video helped you um I hope it encouraged some of you I hope it put a fire in some of you to get your word in start reading yes you start reading um Read your Bible every day, and if you want to read it all the way through, whether that's 30 days or whatever it may be, I do encourage you to, to set a time, set mini goals. That's another thing, just set mini goals a little bit by a day. So if you wanna read 10 chapters in the morning, 10 chapters at night, however many you can read, that would be best for you to fit the goal that you have put on yourself. And be cautious and conscious of just um, the amount of chapters, your reading ability, how much time you have and all of those things and how long each chapter is. And so I just pray that this helped you and I pray that um, your desire for the word of God would continue to grow as you seek God in his word. Have a blessed day.